some information here. Great looking watch. Yeah, the dial is blue. The luminescence is really good. That sweeping hand is very, very sexy. Um, this back is phenomenal. And this bracelet will last forever. And this bracelet will not show as age as bad as your standard bracelet that you have. All right, have. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. And today we're gonna be shooting super home video style. So I have an unboxing. Um, I didn't wanna wait till I got to work because I'm not going to wear this tomorrow at work. Um, gonna go with the Apple Watch, but I've got a new watch. As I get older, my tastes change. So I got rid of the Navihawk watch that I had for maybe about four or five years. It's really big, really bulky. It's a beautiful watch. It stood out, but I'm kind of simplifying and kind of going to a more classy style, not expensive by any means. We're going to be looking at a Seiko 5, um, and this is the SRPD71K1 model. And this is like one of the best, probably the best looking model to me outside of the black version, which I don't know that number. I'll put it down um, just in a little corner of the video. But here's the presentation. Like I said, this was not an expensive watch. I think it retails for like 350 or 300. Wow. I didn't okay. pay that much for this watch, but I think it's a great bang for your buck. It's an automatic. Here's the um, manual that came with it. Like I said, the box is like a straightforward black cardboard, says Seiko on it. I don't really care about that. I hold on to the boxes just because it's easier to pack things when you have those. I don't know. Anyway, typical box. And we'll go ahead and open the watch. It's a blue dial and a blue bezel. And like I said, I believe it's the best looking Seiko 5 watch. It's wrapped in this gift wrappy kind of paper. We'll hop right into it. Like I said, my tastes are changing and I've always liked Seiko and this isn't the first Seiko automatic I've had. I just think this is a classy looking watch. I paid under $300 for it and I think the mesh band just really sets it off. And this is my favorite band style. As you can see, there's a Seiko logo here. Um, and one of the primary reasons is because it doesn't show scratches that much, um, if at all. On my uh, Navihawk that you know I made a video on a couple years ago, I wasn't really careful with that at all. Like I had it on the desk in my office and I would just kind of bang my wrist around um, and it held up very well. But I just love that sweeping automatic movement. Um, I know a lot of people compare this to the, XK, the SKX that it replaced. And I'll kind of get into why I bought this over the SKX. Um, so the first reason is because people are selling the SKX line at a premium. They're selling some of these things for over $500. I've seen them from anywhere from like $300 to like $800. And to get a good example, um, at least in my research, they were like seven dollars or $800. And that, that's just too much to me when this watch can be had for about $300 or less. Um, and then number two, this watch looks better. So in the dial, you know, you can see it has the aluminum uh, inlays with the uh, luminescence material on the inside. So that's super nice. The dial is nice. And just compared to an SKX, this watch is better looking. Is it a better functional watch if you're diving? No. This goes to, I think, 50 meters and the SKX goes to like 200. So um not even a comparison there but just for a watch that you're going to wear not as a diver this watch is very very solid all right ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching um in this part of the video i forgot to mention another significant reason i purchased the seiko 5 sports model over the skx line and that reason is the clear case back and i love that it's really good when you're holding the watch, admiring the watch, or showing someone the watch to be able to see the back of the movement, the rotor spinning around. It's a really cool feature. Um, obviously, the SKX with the screw down case back is going to be more functional. But again, I'm not a diver and most people buying this watch are not going to be wearing it while diving, or, nor are they divers. So that's just something to point out. Um, I'll also say that I am going to transition to my office as the lighting is super poor 
here at home, and I wanna kinda give a better depiction of this watch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video. Um, here is the watch in good lighting. And this is, again, the Seiko 5 Sports model. So, and here's the back. And I wanna say, this is not to be confused with the Seiko 5 model. Those are a little bit cheaper. Um, they're still automatic watches. You can find those for like at or around $100 or even under $100. They have a slightly different movement, 21 joules versus 24. Um, and they don't have a rotating bezel like this one does. Um, and they just, they don't look as good to me. This looks a little bit more posh, a little bit more upscale. Um, so I really like that, but this is a watch up close. I wanted to kind of show you what this watch looks like in comparison to a daily driver that I've had before. I still have, and that's my Belova. Um, this is a Marine Star. Um, I can't remember the model number, but this is a very nice watch. And if you saw these two watches side by side, a lot of people would probably say the Belova looks better. Um, and I would agree to a point, but the thing is this Belova is not automatic. It does have a rotating bezel. Don't get me wrong, this is a good watch, but this watch costs more than this watch. Um, and to me, this watch is just a little bit classier if you understand a little bit about watches. I mean, this is an automatic watch. Um, it is a little bit simpler looking. Both of these would stand the test of time, but one of the concerns I have for my Seiko is that I thought it would be a little bit too small. Or I'm used to watches that have like 45 millimeter cases and things like that. And these aren't too far off. Um, you know, this is probably the, the optimal case size for my wrist, I would say. Here's the links on this one. Very good looking watch. I've gotten compliments on this watch. This is a typical Belova. Um, as you can see, the back is not clear because it's not an automatic watch. It's a quartz movement. So... They're actually more accurate, but as I get older, I find that I'm into more simple, classy, elegant looking things. You can tell it's more of a diver style. Um, you know, the crown is down here. There's a crown guard, even though it's not a screw down crown. And it's not as flashy as this watch is, honestly. Uh, they have the same features outside of the different types of movement, but this one has a chronograph. So this one, is doing a little bit more, being a little bit more, you know, has the gold accents and everything like that. Um, it doesn't have a screw down crown, but this is more of my speed kind of going forward. I have not worn this watch yet, but as you can see, the clasp just goes here. This is a watch on wrist right here. So it's kind of upside down, but I'll correct that. But this is the watch. Um, it does look smaller than my Belova, and it doesn't look so small that I'm wearing a woman's watch. I would say I have a mid-sized wrist. Um, I can't remember the measurement, but you know, here's the bracelet. This bracelet is really, really nice. I cannot say enough about mesh bracelets. They look super classy. Um, you can wear them with a polo. You can wear them with a t-shirt. You could wear this even with a suit, and I don't think it would, it would look off or out of place at all. Um, if you're at somewhere super formal, you might have kind of a nicer, dressier watch. But for the average guy, this is this is going to cut it. Um, this is going to do the trick. This is mineral glass. Um, in this case, is 42.5 millimeters. And you can definitely tell this is smaller than your typical 44, 45 millimeter case. But that's okay. You know, this dial looks pretty beefy. Um, this crown looks pretty beefy. And this bracelet, you know, looks mid-size, so it doesn't look like you've grabbed your girlfriend, wife's, or mom's watch. So I would highly recommend this watch. Occasions, again, I, I, I would wear this to work. We have kind of a casual Friday work setting to where I wear a polo with jeans. This fits with that. I would wear this with a button-up. Um, here is the back where you can see into the movement. And again, this is different from the regular Seiko 5. Movement's a little better, and I love that sweeping hand. So again, if you know a little bit about watches, when you see that hand sweep versus tick, that's class to me, uh, even though this isn't an expensive watch, but 
I love the bracelet. I don't yet know how to adjust it. I can't remember. So I will say Seiko is a good brand. And so if this is a little out of your price range, I mean, you can find this for like between $200 and $300 now, which is an excellent deal. Again, very, very classy watch. You want to be careful with the dial because this is mineral glass. But... You know, I wouldn't wear it if you're doing construction work or something like that. Automatic watches do have their limitations. Vibrations, heavy impact, things like that can damage the movement. So on that, I would get a digital watch, a cheap watch, something like that. But, and as you can see, like on your wrist, it does sit up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it sits up. I mean, it's, you know, this this is a little bit thick. Um and I like that because it makes it look more masculine. One of the things I like about this watch also is that this is the actual picture on the Seiko website and this is the actual watch. So there's not bait and switch there. It looks just as good as the watch on the screen that you see. So that's one. And then there's so many different models that you can get. This one is the next one I'm going to be doing a review on. And you can see on Amazon, these are not pricey at all. This kind of, this is a little bit more utilitarian, um, you know, with the fabric straps, the nylon straps. Um, this is a little bit more rustic looking, but you can find these watches well under 300. Some of them are more, and this price can change. And I'll also show you the Seiko 5. So if you're looking for a cheaper op option, you might go into this Seiko 5. Now, I will say the movement's not as good, 21 joules again. And these just don't look as good to me. Uh, they may suit a different occasion. They're more of a simplistic look, less of a, you know, rugged, outdoor, you know, active watch, I'll say. Um, but when we scroll down, you can see that... They are a little bit different in that the case diameter is smaller. So this is 37.5. I still think these look masculine, but they're just not as beefy as the Seiko 5 Sport. And all in all, this is a great watch. I highly recommend it. Be looking out for my review of the one with the black dial. I'll see you in the next video.